Okay, hello everyone, D Rutherford WX here, and today, if you are just now getting Microsoft Speech Server 2004, because of the console replacement system Speechify Atomic Kilohertz is on here. Now, before I began, most people have told me, oh, this is not the real Tom, this is the 22 kilohertz Tom that um that you know that we see today well that is not true because i will give you proof right now that it is speechify tom by showing you guys a couple of things before we begin so here's your first proof right here so we got paulina or and javier which is the spanish voice and there's Tom right there. Tom English, 8 kilohertz, uh, version 0. It is running. So there you go. There's your first proof right there. And the second proof is we're going to get on to telephony application. Okay, so we're going to first connect it. And it'll start up the client. And then there you go, the client is started up. You can close that if you want. So drag the window down to the middle of the screen. We dial and I put, um, there is a way to edit text where you can say it over anything at once without having to deal with like a built prompt. Uh, so here's the sentence I put in for you guys to listen to. Welcome. Hello. My name is Tom. I'm on the console replacement system Tom. That was used for almost for 16 years from Scansoft Speechify. This version of Speechify is 3.0, but I say pretty much everything correctly. So there you guys go. There is Speechify Tom 8 kilohertz right there. That was used on the console replacement system for almost 16 years. Now, we're going to begin. So if you've already downloaded, every, downloaded everything and gotten everything ready to go, you know, everything works, you've tested everything. Well, here's how, in more de de uh, more getting more in depth with uh, making your own text and making your own emergency alert system alerts with this thing. And you will see why I have that little break time for the SSML, because that's what the uh, Speechify Tom uses, uses SSML uh, tags, like any voice, but it's older ones. So, if you guys have Windows 10, like I do on this computer, and it part when you when the vo when the voice gets to the last two words, the last one word, it cuts out. Well, that's why I have the break at the end for one second, so it finishes its whole entire sentence. But anyways, so if you want to type in your own text, you you have to open up a thing called prompts dot PF. If you guys don't know where that is, I will show you the directory right now. So the directory of this, we go into Windows Explorer. You go to My Computer. You go to Local Disk. You go to Program Files. Go down to Speech Application, SDK uh, 1.1, Applications. Samples using DTMF, I recommend using that one, and then prompts PF. And there you go, there it is right there. Since we already have it pulled up, I just wanted to show you guys a directory. So there you guys go, that's how you get to it. And uh, you can just type in like anything you want. For example, I'll just type in a quick alert for you guys. I will be using this Tom uh, for like EAS alerts now and mocks and everything. I'm actually going to be using it in my latest scenario called A Hot Day. I'm actually working on it right now but uh, I just want to show you guys this and uh, how to set it up and how to put in your own text. So we'll just put in that portion of an alert. 
and then we'll pull back up telephony application. Drag it down here. And there we go. It has loaded up. So now we'll close out. Welcome. The National Weather Service in Nashville has issued a tornado warning for. Now uh, you can tell I didn't say National Weather Service correctly. Well, there's a fix. With this voice, there are some more dictionary glitches, and that's a good thing for pronunciation. Now, I usually put weather message and then dot, 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 space, and then you always want to save, you always want to do this, save prompts.pf, so that way you save your text and I'll read, and then before you reload it, you just type in where you want and then reload and I'll reload it. Weather message, the National Weather Service in Nashville has issued a tornado warning for. And there you go. Now you're probably wondering, how do you get it to sound so realistic like it's on no weather radio? Well, I have this thing on my computer called, how does this sound? It's called Cable In. It's called Virtual Cable. Um, I will possibly put the download link in the description for you guys to look at. Um... And you guys can download that. And how I make it so realistic, uh, it, the virtual cable has an in and out, which if you set up, it'll like put it in and out, which records your computer audio onto Audacity. And uh, how it works is I put go to the sounds, like on the control panel, and I set the kilohertz rating to 8,000, 8 kilohertz on the uh, uh, cable in and out. And that's how it sounds realistic. But how, uh, well, how I do it is I use this computer for just text to speech and I have another computer for Windows 7 that also has Audacity on it and it also has the cable in and out and I put that one on 8 kilohertz as well and I record it to that computer and put the Audacity kilohertz rating sample on 8 and that's how it gets all that distortion and static which makes it sound realistic but I have a few more other things but all the text and pronunciation is all original all original you know all that good stuff so that's how you edit your text now I don't have any more prompt functions at the moment uh, the only prompt function I have right now is the uh, break time which is really really useful so really really useful for uh, many many things Welcome. Hi there. Please subscribe to the Rutherford WX. So yeah, you can put like in your YouTube channel, you can sponsor with the voice, you know. At times I don't want to talk, I'll use the voice, so, because it's a handy dandy little voice. It's handy dandy. It's just a really, really nice voice that I like. Um, Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm just concentrating on putting text.
Now you can change the second, and the second um uh, like break time. You you can change it to zero point one. Like from that, it's like the minimal. I don't know what the maximum is. Um, so we'll put zero two. At um four thirty two PM Actually yeah, I need to put that there we go. PM C D T the Central Daylight Time National Weather Service Oh I spelled National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunder server. Yeah, nice job. Severe thunderstorm capable. I am not spelling the right. capable of pro. Producing a tornado near Nashville and right and was moving northeast at one hundred miles per hour. So once you like put a warning in or something related, you can just you know do that. One tornado emergency for Davidson County. The National Weather Service in Nashville has issued a tornado warning for Davidson County in Middle Tennessee until 5 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 4:32 p.m. Central Daylight Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado near Nashville and was moving northeast at 100 mph. Okay, not only supposed to do that, but uh, maybe it's based. Yeah, let's try that again. Oh wait, before, hold on. There. Let's save it again. Tornado emergency for Davidson County. The National Weather Service in Nashville has issued a tornado warning for Davidson County in Middle Tennessee until 5 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 4.32 p.m. Central Daylight Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado near Nashville and was moving northeast at 100 miles per hour. And there you go.